Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Alison, the Online Piano and the Online Violin Tutor. Today is just a really super quick video and it's more like a DIY tip about chin rests. If some of you have got have got a violin, this by the way is the Cecilio CVM100, just out of interest. If you've got a violin, and normally it does have a chin rest on, as you can see, but I've just taken it off. But if you've got a violin that has a chin rest on, which will be something like this, sometimes they're sometimes they're actually quite quite thick. And the one that I've got on my violin is a lot thinner than this. But if you're finding that there's it's just too bulky and you're under your chin, you're using a shoulder rest, perhaps. I don't but some people do it just depends on the shape of your neck how long short that kind of thing but some of you might find the shoulder rests actually quite quite bulky and quite thick um, if you can't happen to find a shoulder rest uh, sorry a chin rest that you don't like uh, uh, sorry I'll start that again if you if you can't find a chin rest that that's thin enough for you and you still feel that there's too much between the violin and it's sort of poking up into the chin a little quick DIY tip is to get hold of some of these invisible gel cushions that you can get from the supermarket. Um, these were, um, I don't know, £1.50 or something from Super uh, my local drugstore, Superdrug, for example. Um, but what they are, they're invisible gel cushions. I think, uh, is it Shoal or Skull, whatever the name is, um, they do them. And they look like this. Uh, I'm not sure how much the camera is sort of uh, picking up on that, but they are basically just... Uh, they're supposed to be for the ladies who wear high heels and they put them on the ball of the uh, of, on, on the base of the on the sole of the shoe or inside um, where the ball of the foot would be so it's kind of um, if you're wearing silly high heels um, as us ladies do then it's supposed to just kind of provide a bit of com comfort and cushioning for the ball of your feet and what you can do is it comes with two sides of the little kind of sticky whatever they're not sticky so they won't damage your violin at all but they've got kind of like um uh, I don't really know, like like a silicone kind of appearance almost feels like kind of rubbery glue but it's enough to kind of just adhere nicely through the kind of suction if you like on the violin um, these are quite cheap ones if you get better quality ones they tend to be a little bit thicker um, so you just place it over the violin where your chin rest would go any old how you like and then you can just sort of press it down and it should it will stay there and it won't it won't come off um, but also equally it will just kind of peel quite nicely off and it won't damage anything. There's absolutely nothing on the sole and there's absolutely no damage whatsoever. I've put it on my violin, it's absolutely fine because it's not sticky so you don't have to worry about it being sticky or anything like that. You won't have to worry about the varnish coming off. It just sort of somehow, it just sort of adheres through almost suction if you like. So you can just push it gently um, and it will just sort of stick on. I can't guarantee that it won't stay on all the time. You know, it might come sort of come off in your case as you're taking your violin in and out, but it certainly will stay there for the duration. And then you've just got a sort of a little bit of comfort on your chin, um, rather than just having the hard, the, 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 the harsh kind of coldness of, of the violin against your, your chin. It just, excuse me, it's not very comfortable to have just nothing on the violin because you almost need that extra little just something there so if you don't like the chin rest this is a great little idea for that so there you go just a diy chin rest there i hope you enjoyed that and i shall see you in the next video